Shalom, 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 shalom. Before we even get started, first and foremost, I want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Rakah Kadash. Secondly, want to give double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone who rule well. And third, want to give salutation to all the occupants of the hopeful elect that pushing forth this word and this truth in righteousness and sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, 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 my brother Haka, GMS South Carolina Midlands. And, you know, we back here with another video. And this right here is off of um, um, this article here that you see off of AmericanFirstReport.com. Um, and, um, you know, pretty much, you know what I'm saying, in another group chat, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I seen um, the Elder Manat Zotbot, Elder Manat Zotbot, seen him post an article, um, you know what I'm saying, the same article, you know what I'm saying, in our group chat, and I was reading it. And I was like, yeah, man, we we, we right here, man. We, we, we are right here, man. That's why Yahabash Shema was shy. Is making that great separation from the men of the Lord and separating the men of the Lord, you know what I'm saying, the elect from you fucking two thirds, man. All you damn niggas that scoffing, mocking, uh, uh, and call yourself coming against the truth at the end of the doggone day, which you just sealing your own fate, which is going to be dealt at the end of the day, man. All right. Y'all going to be the ones looking real pitiful and looking stupid. All right. When you realize, like, damn, these men that we was going up against. These men we were speaking against, lying, bearing false witness, men that we had no high regard of, we didn't think highly of at the end of the day. Like, damn, they truly were sent by, you know what I'm saying, the highest power himself, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But the, for, for a lot of you, it's going to be too damn late um, when you come to that realization, man. All right? Because prophecy is happening right before your face. As you can see in this article, what UN declares war on free speech to censor the truth subvert accountability and control populations because that's why you saw allow all these goddamn distractions that's taking place in this world to to divert your attention for the real issues and the real laws you know what i'm saying and things that and, and, and your rights that this devil trying to fucking ban at the end of the day you know what i'm saying giving you bread and circus to keep you distracted with this fake rap beef and these different celebrities, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh, doing this and different celebrities doing that, getting exposed, this celebrity getting exposed, that ex uh, celebrity getting exposed. And like I say, all of that fucking fluff news and all that, you know what I'm saying, smoke in the mirror, you know what I'm saying? Um, the real men of the Lord, we're not ignorant of Satan devices at the end of the day. And we understand that this truth is troubling Esau, man. All right. It's troubling the e Edom, man. All right. Because Esau, you, you in rulership and I'm speaking and I'm starting with and I'm talking about the super elite at the end of the day. You you know that the men of the prophets out there on the highways and byways, mainly of great millstone, stone, the elders, apostles, to the elder bishops on down to us. You know, we're truly sent by you. How about you? How was shot, man? All right. You know, we know we can't be bought or paid for at the end of the day. And you how about you? spirit is continuing to increase where we continue on. Be pushing out daily, more daily, more daily videos, man. You know what I'm saying? Pulling down the strongholds and nothing you devil can, can can do about it at the end of the day, man. All right? To the point to where now you want to come up with unrighteous decrees. But really, that's all Yahweh Bashim al Bashai putting the spirit on you devils on the left-hand side. You know what I'm saying? You know, because that right there is just another indicator when you devils try to ban the Bible and ban freedom of speech. That's just another indicator. That hey man, we, we we at the end of you devil's kingdom, man. All right, we coming to what the the famine, uh, you know what I'm saying of hearing this word. All right, which we are gonna grab that scripture. All right, because all of this is Bible prophecy right there. You see before your face, you got all these fake ass Israelite camps out here, um, you know, using this truth as a merchandise, wanna set up and use the Hebrew Israelites as a front. For these niggas to make money, all right? You know, the hey, hey, if you want to be a life coach, you if you need a life coach, $500, you know, the Sakari, you know, or you need me to throw a prayer for you, you know, that costs money for me to pray for you. I mean, to pray for you, you know what I'm saying? You want a Hebrew name, that costs money. You know, niggas want to put money and make this truth a merchandise. You got these damn niggas, Nate Satan and them putting, you know what I'm saying, his congregation and his Israelite follow, um, followers asleep, you know, preaching on a fucking hell doctrine. You know, it's not giving warning, letting Jake know coming to the time of the Karagami, coming to the time of martial law, coming to the time of Jacob's trouble at the end of the day. Only Israel is doing, I mean, only Great Millstone is uh, consist consistently, consistently and continually, daily, all right, prophesying and giving that warning and warning to Israel at the end of the day, man. We on our watch, unlike these other Israelite camps, you know what I'm saying, you know? And like I said, man, when you, when you see articles like this, 
this, this is one of the, you know what I'm saying, major end time prophecies that have to take place before the, you know, the Karagma is implemented. But you saw a mandate that Karagma before martial law, you know what I'm saying, before the, the collapse of this damn dollar bill, devil looking to take away, you know, your freedom of speech, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's one of the major end time prophecies, man. It says, well, um, Antonio uh, Gut Torres, uh, 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 yeah, Gut Torres, or however you pronounce his last name. The Secretary General of the United Nations, UN, just released the globalist latest game plan for population control, surveillance, and censorship. The game plan, titled Global Principles for Information Integrity, seeks, seeks to put an end to harmful misinformation or disinformation. And, and yeah, that you got the damn devil. That's all he do is put out misinformation and disinformation. But yet yeah, he's about to police and he's going to determine what's misinformation and disinformation. That's the devil for you at the end of the day because you can't control the narrative. All this truth is being brought upon his ass, man. Okay. It says, it says um, harmful misinformation or disinformation and hate speech online. And here this devil talking about hate speech. But yet yeah, you will have all this damn drill rap. You know what I'm saying? You had this nigga what is young young in ac young and ace whatever his nigga name is that was beefing with uh um julio fulio the rapper that just died up there in florida that got shot and shit at the motel or whatever now here it is this nigga done got a, this nigga done had a song pretty much was like a diss response to the death of uh, fulio and that shit went like a million views every day and that was nothing but hate speech. You, you know what I'm saying? He rapping and disrespecting the man in his fucking death. But yet you have that video still playing and going viral and getting all those millions of views. But then you want to determine, oh man, the, the, you know, the Hebrew Israelites, they bringing out the point that the Lord is a dark skinned man. He's not really a Caucasian. The Lord is not a so-called white man. He's actually a dark skinned man. Oh, that's hate speech. That hate speech. You want to determine that to be hate speech. But let, but yet you will let these drill rap videos still stay on there. You don't consider those rap videos hate speech. Showing the hypocrisy of you fucking goddamn devils at the end of the damn date, man. Okay? But anyway, and the whole world seeing your hypocrisy at the end of the day, man. But anyway, it says to harmful misinformation, disinformation, and hate speech online, all while upholding human rights such as the freedom of speech. How the hell are you going to take away and determine what's misinformation and what's hate speech at the end of the day, and yet you're still talking about you want people to still have their freedom of speech. Man, that's an oxymoron. Esau is nothing but a goddamn devil. And you know what I'm saying? And, and you, you you know what I'm saying? You, you, you using, you, you devil speaking with a false tongue at the end of the damn day. All right? You can't sit there and say you're upholding somebody's freedom of speech, but then you're going to regulate what somebody can speak on and what they can't speak on. If, if, you, if you regularly and tell the people they can't speak out against any government policies that y'all put out there, you know what I'm saying? Then that's not no fucking freedom of speech then, okay? If you got if, if, if to goddamn put barriers on what you can speak and what you can't speak on, you know what I'm saying? Then that's not fucking freedom of speech, man. All right? But ultimately, we understand that these damn devils ready to take the profits off the highways and byways, man. All right? That going into, matter of fact, like I said earlier, you know what I'm saying? One of the uh, key end time prophecies, man. That's when you know that hey but we coming into the time of jacob's trouble when and all the lack is sealed you know what i'm saying once it's the famine of the word man all right this right here second ezra is nine and one he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest part of the signs past which i have told thee before then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, man. Yeah, man. And, and how do you measure the time? You know what I'm saying? Through what? Through prophecy at the end of the day or whatnot, man. Okay? All right? And like I said, one of the prophecies is, you know what I'm saying? As you see Esau you're trying to write his unrighteous decrees or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking away your rights, taking away your freedom of speech. Isaiah 10 and 1, woe. And woe means destruction unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. And Esau, that's one of the major unrighteous decrees is devil about to um you know he about to implement you know uh nobody speaking you know you can't you can't teach out of the bible which we already know ultimately that's the attack the prophets the men of the lord man all right he writing that decree to the men of the lord okay all right because through the spirit of how about shema rashad devil's been getting freaking exposed and continuing to get exposed man all right um isaiah 10 and 1 it says woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness 
which they have prescribed, man. Okay, and that, and that's what you devils, you know, been doing and continue on doing. But like I say, man, once you know what I'm saying, you come out with that decree, that means all the luck is still any damn way, man. So you know what I'm saying, y'all end is near anyway. Nothing you can do, nothing you damn devils can do, man. All right, the the goddamn add any more seconds to your fucking can't wicked ass goddamn kingdom, man. Okay, like I said, man, once you go ahead and you you implement, you know what I'm saying, and you take away people's freedom of speech. Hey man, like I say, that's 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 the end and that's a wrap of your kingdom. Once the prophets off the highways and byways, that's, that's prophecy, man. You devils feeding in the prophecy at the end of the day. Nothing you can do about it. All right, still gonna represent your end. You know what I'm saying? That's not gonna be a plus for you devils. Once the high, once the prophets taking off the highways and byways, not that's not gonna be a plus to you damn devils, man. Oh yeah, now nah, our problem is done. Now nah, now nah, problem done away. We ain't gotta worry about the prophet. Now nah, that means already sealed. The lek already been sealed, fool. All right, y'all fate has already been sealed, man. At the end of the day, you devil's going down. Nothing you can do about it. Amos eight and eleven, it says, "Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, Yah Bashim Shah, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yah Bashim Yah Shah, man. All right, and like I said, man, like I said, with this goddamn law, you, you know what I'm saying with you damn you and the United Nations." All right, the discussions is mainly about the Hebrew Israelites. We we know what you damn devils be speaking on. You other nations be speaking on the Hebrew Israelites pursuing back to Psalms the eighty third chapter, man. That never stopped. And it says the war on free speech to censor the truth. Yeah, the real truth. All right, that that Yahweh Shem Shah have his prophets out there prophesying and giving warning. Starting with the starting with the elders apostles great millstone to the elders bishops of great millstone elders of old seven on down. That's man. All right, that, that that's why you you got to come up with these. Different laws at the end of the day or whatnot, man. Okay, we already know this word and the truth. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't went all the way up to the to you super elite, man. And you're afraid and you're nervous, man. And you and you have, like I said, man, you have all the right to be afraid, man. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you, you know what I'm saying? You you have that right to be afraid, man. I, I would be afraid too, but if I was eating my, I'd be very very afraid too, man. All right, because of your end, man. All right. Um, like scripture said, man, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, it's best it's best of an end of a thing than the beginning of it. And you devil's part, when you 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 come into the end of your kingdom, so it ain't gonna be ain't gonna be such for you. You about to come, you know what I'm saying, your latter end, man, it's about to be shh, about to be double, man, compared to what Israel compared to what we are going through and what we went through, all right, what we about to go through, it's gonna be double to you damn devils, man. Okay. But it says not of not it says not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh was shot. All right, and you see the decree. All right, you know what I'm saying. Esau is putting out there that mandate. It says, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even to the rest. I mean, Shalot. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. And they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh was shot, and shall not find it. And that's Jake. That been fucking Terry and Jake that didn't take this word and this truth serious. You know what I'm saying? That, that's Jake talking shit against the truth, being scoffers. You know, like your goddamn Anton Daniels, your Charleston White. Yeah, they're going to be looking for the prophets in that day and the time, but you niggas ain't going to be able to find them, man. All right, you know? All right, most likely going to bring judgment on you niggas, man. All right? Because you had liberty, you have time, like you have time. Now what you doing? Talking shit, man. Speaking speaking against the truth, man, at the end of the day, man. Okay? So the most likely going to hold you niggas to your words at the end of the day, man. All, right, all you goddamn clowns, man. All right. Now, let's get. um, Yeah, because I, I made a mention that this word is true. The reason why Esau want to go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, and, and ban the Bible. Why? Because this word and the truth had to go up to him. All right. Yeah, how about you, I made sure it went to the ears of these super elite, man. All right. They see prophecy. They see that Yeah, how about you, Shah raised up those dead bodies, represents the elect, all right, of Israel. We pray, we hope we have the hopeful elect here at Great Millstone. So, you know what I'm saying? So, these devils, they, they, they see all the activity that's going on. All the, you know what I'm saying? All the words and testimonies that's coming out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, uh, 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 of the prophets through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right? They, they, they believe. They know. They know. Um, Isaiah 13 and 1 goes right into it. The burden of Babylon, which is the truth. All right? That's why the devil trying to um, outlaw, outlaw the Bible. All right? It says, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. Verse 2, lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. The high mountain represents what? We know mountains represents government. It says the high mountain. Who the highest of the highest? Babylon, a.k.a. America, man. Okay, that little whore. Okay, it says lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. That banner represents the truth. It says exalt the voice unto them. 
shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. So that's what we're doing. We, you know what I'm saying? We out there and we letting the wicked Esau, the third category of man, let them know all the wicked decrees and the condition and the way of the world, you know, the way the world is in, the condition it in today because of this devil's rulership, all right, at the end of the day, he the basis of all freaking goddamn men, all right, you know, so we shaking a hand at this damn devil, let him know, you know what I'm saying, Yahweh Shemashah is going to bring judgment upon his wicked ass, his wicked ass kingdom, he going into slavery, he going into captivity, all right, all the wickedness and atrocities he done did to the nation of Israel and continue on doing his plans of the one world order, which is not going to work. Is your damn karagma, which the elect is not going to take, so it's not going to fucking work. You ain't going to be able to be able to put the sea up in every damn body. And when you come out to the men of the Lord, the most high is going to raise that standard on you fucking damn devil. So we're telling this devil that to his fucking face, man. you going down. You're going into slavery. You're going into captivity. All right? You're going, you going to the riches. You're going from riches to the rags at the end of the day. You tell this devil that to his freaking face, man. And you better believe he losing sleep over that, man. Daily, he losing sleep, man. All right? Now, um... Let's get, let's get, let's get Matthew. And we're going to end with this right here because, like I said, man, I'm about to go and get myself prepared to get myself ready to head to camp, you know, and I got to drive a little distance to meet the brothers uh, this weekend here, like I did last weekend, but no worries, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, I got to, you know what I'm saying, get it moving in a minute. So we're going to, this is going to be the last scripture and we're going to go ahead and end that, end, end this listen so I can go ahead and meet up with the brothers of uh, uh, GMS Midlands here. This red letter, Yahweh shot. This Matthew 10, and we're going to start at verse 17. We're going to read on down to verse 22. Matthew 10 and 17, future prophecy, all right? You know, these are, are current things or events that are going to take place that are going to fulfill, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know, through, through the prophets, through the testimonies, to, through the testimonies of Yahweh Shema Shah that we have, and we're going to be persecuted for it, man, for the testimonies of Yahweh Shema Shah. We're going to be tried for the testimonies of Yahweh Shema Shah. Right before and be brought right before the super elite governors, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, all right. The kings, the princes of this fucking world, man. At the end of the day, for truth's sake, man. All right. Um, and that's time we coming in, man. All right. Matthew 10 and 17. It says, Red letter Yahweh Shah. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. Yeah, man. You, even Jacob uh, of the circumcision, man. You got sellouts, you got informants, you got. It, um, agent provocateurs, you know what I'm saying? That's inside, you know what I'm saying? You know, they that they, they pretty much came inside the truth, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, they're uh, wolves and sheep clothing, you know what I'm saying? All them clowns and them sellouts, and they're going to be selling certain men of the Lord out. You're going to even have certain clowns of, you know, not only outside of other Israelite camps, but even in Great Millstone, you're going to have agents, man. All right, same thing. Some of your family, you know, some of your family or people that you knew, associates in the world that you knew, Gonna sell you out. Yeah, yeah, I know where he stayed. I know where he. I know where he be at. Yeah, he be over here. He be over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can take you to him right now. I know where he be at. You know, all them sellouts, man. All right, as part, as part of our journey, it's gonna be part of certain brothers' lives, man. All right, that's why it says, um, "Yah by Shemal Shah gave us that warning: Beware of men. All right, for they would deliver you up to the councils and they would scourge you in their synagogue. That's why, like those apostles, are always going to as well too. You know, what I'm saying, especially the brother that's new. And always good to be giving pe people your personal information, you know, your address, you know, your, your cell phone numbers, you know what I'm saying? You know, everybody shouldn't be able to, uh, you know what I'm saying, that you come across should be able to, you know what I'm saying, be able to get in contact with you or whatnot, you know what I'm saying, or have access to you to a certain degree, you know what I'm saying, you know? Because you don't, you don't know who's who, all right, at the end of the damn day. You know, everybody got to be proven, man. Like Scripture say, you got to try the spirit by the spirit. But let's continue on. Uh, Matthew uh, Matthew 10 and 18 and ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake for a testimony against them and the Gentiles see all right so we're gonna be brought before these damn governors and kings man all right for the, the testimony how about your mouth shot and guess what verse 19 but when they deliver you up take no thought how or what ye shall speak for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak so the most I was gonna put his word and put his spirit on us man all right, you know, tell the ass off, tell them the judgment, tell them how they're going to go down. Hey, man, the Most High is going, you know, pretty much, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got to worry about anything. The Most High word is already in us. So in that time, the Most High going to be speaking directly through us, man. And we're speaking through us now, but even more so, you know what I'm saying? We ain't going to have to, you know what I'm saying? Hey, give me about 5 or 10, 20 minutes, you know what I'm saying, where I can go ahead and uh, write down, you know what I'm saying, some little... Uh, 
write down some little points or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Topic points or whatever, you know what I'm saying, that I'm gonna bring out or whatever. You know, nah, man, you know, spirit gonna be on us, you know what I'm saying? Like a spirit be on us now. We ain't gotta write down no scriptures or anything of that nature, man. The Rakakadash just take over, man. So this time ain't gonna be no different, man. Okay. It says, uh, verse 20, it says, uh, for it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father, Yahweh, which speaketh in you. See? And the brother shall deliver you up to the brother to death, and the father, the child, and the children shall arise against their parents. But, you know, the point pretty much was made, man. You know what I'm saying? We'll be brought upon the kings and the princes of, and the governors of this world, all right, for the testimonies of Yahweh, Bashim, was shot, man. All right? And we ain't gonna have no fucking fear, neither, man. Don't tell these devils to their face, man, their judgment, man, from Yahweh, Bashim, was shot. Yeah, you devils, you about to fucking go down, man. All right, so hurry the fuck up with this goddamn Karagma, man. You devil's about to fucking go down. You going into slavery. You going into captivity through the power of your high Bashim Nothing None you devils can do about it. You can't add another second to your kingdom, man. All right, you know? And yes, you going into slavery and captivity through the power of your high Bashim up under the nation of Israel, starting with that big bro, your high all right, in which the, the elect, all right, which the 144,000, 12,000 out of each tribe, men of Israel, all right, which is going to be, all right, the new government body, all right, of the new world order, the new world order, all right, of Israel, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, starting with the elect, man, okay, I'll tell you devils that to your fucking face, man, nothing you can do about it, man, all right, you know, okay, but with that, man, I pray and I hope that it was edifying, and with that, I want to say Shalom, Shalom to the full elect, Shalom.